In this video, we're going to take a look at breakout rooms, which is a new feature that Google Meet has recently released. On the left hand side, you'll see the teacher view and on the right hand side, you'll see the student view of uh, the breakout rooms. So let's go ahead and get started. In the white toolbar at the very top of your Google Meet screen, you'll see an icon that's a, a bunch of shapes. And if you hover over that, you can see that this is the activities um, menu. So let's go ahead and click on that. In activities, you'll see that you have breakout rooms and polls. Students also have that option, and they'll also see breakout rooms and polls. The difference is that only the host can start a breakout room. Students will see this um, message right here. So once we click on breakout rooms, um, you have a few options. You are able to choose how many rooms you want to have. Essentially, this is how many small groups you want to have you have the option of shuffling. This means that students will randomly be put into um, breakout rooms. And then you have the option to clear all of that. You can also click on these um, students and you can rearrange them however you want and you can put them into different breakout sessions. All right, so let's go ahead and create these rooms. I'm gonna keep it at two. If I wanted to, I could change it to three and I could place somebody there. Um, you have the option of creating up to 100 rooms if you ever needed that. But let's go ahead and keep it to two. And I'm gonna go ahead and just shuffle. And here we have two students here, one student in breakout room two. Uh, yeah, breakout room two. So let's go ahead and create. Now, what the students will see is they'll get a pop-up and there's, it'll say, you're joining breakout one. You can return to the main room at any time. So they need to click on join. Once they do that, they'll leave the main room and they'll join their own small breakout room. So this student has entered and you can see that they've entered here. The others are still pending. So that's why you see this circling uh, blue icon here. So the student that has entered their uh, breakout room can see that they're in breakout one. And if they want to return to the main room, they can click right here. Let's take a look at some of the other students. So here the student says you're joining breakout one. So they can join. They've left the main meeting. That was the change that you saw here on the left hand side. And you can see that breakout uh, rooms are in session. So these two uh, students are in the same breakout room. So they can now um, interact with each other. And then lastly, we have another student that says you're joining breakout two and then they'll have to join. All right, so now we can see all of our students have joined. Um, everyone is uh, where they're supposed to be. So once they're there, students have the option to return to the main room. And they can click on that button and they can come join you again. Um, or they can go ahead and join back into the breakout room that they were just in. Now, on the teacher side, once students are in the breakout rooms, you remain in the main room unless you join another breakout session. So if I want to check in on these two students right here that are in breakout room one, I can go ahead and click join. And now I can see um, or I can join these other two students. These two students right now are in breakout room number one and they can see I'm now in that room with them and I can go ahead and interact with them. Um, here I can see this one has been highlighted in blue. I am currently in breakout room one. No one is in the main room and my other student is in breakout room number two. I can go ahead and leave that room whenever I'm ready and then I can join another. I can, I can just click on join to uh, join the other room. So I'm going to go to breakout room number two. So it's in, it's in the process of changing rooms for me. And now I'm in breakout room number two with this other student. I can interact with that student. You can see on the teacher end um, that this is where I am right now. And only the teacher has this view. Students do not have that view. So they don't know um, who is where. If you click on breakout rooms for the students, um, they don't see anything, any of what you're seeing. Now we have the option to edit the breakout rooms. So let's say we have some students that aren't really working well together or just need to be in different rooms, then I can go ahead and suggest a switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this student here and switch this student and I'm going to save those changes. 
and now the student gets a notification that they need to join the other breakout room so they can go ahead and do that. Lastly, um, if you want all of your students to go back to the main room, you can completely end the breakout rooms and that's this option right here. When you click on that button, you'll ask to, be con you'll ask to confirm that you want to end the breakout rooms and all your students will now see, uh, th see this pop up and it says break breakout rooms have ended, uh, you're returning to the main room. They have to click on return. If they don't, they're gonna stay in their mini session um, until they click it. So we can click on return. All right, and now students are beginning to return. So this might take a minute um, for all your students to get back to that main room. So here we are, we're all back in the main room. And then you can continue your whole uh, class um, session and as soon as you're done with your breakout rooms. So I would encourage you guys to explore those options um, and use them in the classroom if they are uh, useful for you. Um, as always, please let me know if you have any questions and I'm always happy to help uh, in any way that I can.